Hi everyone, it's Dasha Dave here and I'm back for another crafty video. So, this time we're going to make one of these, which is this little interesting little package. So it stays closed by itself, so it doesn't need the string, um, and it is it unfolds like this. <gasps> it's top secret, sorry I can't show you this. And um, it's just got, you can put anything you like in it. I've, all I've done is I've put a piece of paper in that I've kind of folded up. And so it's a piece of top secret information. It's like a little message wallet. And then it just folds back, just like when you're parceling up one of those boxes, you kind of just tuck it all into itself and it stays closed. And you know, I'll just put a piece of string around it for effect. Um, so I thought we'd make one of those today. So. What you're going to need is, if you want it the same size as mine, you can make it whatever size you like. It just needs, you need to start with a square piece of card. So, the um, the piece of card, whatever size you like, um, this measures, so it's the base that you've got to think about, because each of the sides are all the same size as well. So, so this is four by four, if you wanted to make it five by five. Then your piece, your, your piece of paper, because it's got three sections to it, would need to be 15 by 15. Because it's four by four, this is going to be, it's the piece of paper we're going to use is going to be 12 by 12. Okay, so you just got to think, it's got to be a square. So if it was an, a nine by nine piece of paper, then, or, or card, sorry, a nine by nine piece of card, then your squares are going to be three by three, if that makes sense. Okay, so. We'll come back to that in a second and I'll show you more. So let's cut our paper down, our cardboard down. So I'm using another file folder. Great way to use up more file folders. Although at this rate, I'm gonna have to go out and buy some file folders because I'm getting through them thick and fast. So we're gonna make it again, 12 by 12. So I'm gonna go 12 this way. And because I'm using file folders, I am not going to cut it so it's 12 from you know that's the middle and so that we have a crease down the middle i'm going to use one of those creases as one of our folds so that means i'm going to have to cut it um eight this way and four that way or eight that way and four this way if that makes sense it'll still be 12 by 12 because they'll add up to 12 by 12. so we're going to go eight this way i'm just going to cut that down that's eight and then we're going to take four off from the, no, sorry, cut it down to four on that bit there. Okay, so that still makes it 12 by 12. It's just that we're using one of the score lines to our advantage. So let's just check that we have a 12 by 12 sheet of paper, which will sheet of card 12 by Oh, there you go. How fortunate is that? So that's because measuring, Dave. That's not fortune. So you get, there you go. You see, you've got the first line at your four, um, and then we're going to put another line in. So I'm going to get my scoreboard. Sorry if it's made it confusing, but if you're using a 12 by 12 sheet of paper, it won't be this confusing. So I'm going to flip this round, and then I'm going to spend three hours looking for my scoring tool it's there I'm not going to spend three hours looking for it at all so we've got a line on the eight now we've got so we need to put a line in on the four and then we're going to turn it around and we're just going to do those same lines again so we're going to do four and eight I'm going to take that off Somewhere where it won't fall over. <laughs> Somewhere where it won't fall over. That's like tempting fate, Dave. You might as well just say it's going to fall over. It'll, if it falls over, it'll fall on my head. So I'm going to get it on the nail back up there. All oh, that nail is not looking happy in that wall. Okay, so we've got one of our creases. In fact, we're going to make that crease go that way. Okay, and then we're going to put all of these other creases in. Let's just score them in with a bone folder. 
I won't bother, won't bother with that one because that was already a, a well scored fold anyway. So I'm going to just leave this like this. Okay, so this is when it becomes slightly complicated, but not beyond your ability because I know you. I know you're quite capable. Okay, so what you're going to need to do is in the top middle square you're going to go corner to corner so from the open corner to the corner that's landlocked and you're going to have a pencil that doesn't keep breaking its lead hopefully okay you're going to cut that line okay you ready and then we're going to do the same again so if you so in order to get that same angle the best thing to do is, if you know that you went top left to bottom right, you can go top right to bottom left if you like, but I went top left to bottom right. Best thing to do is turn it 90 degrees and do exactly that same thing again. Top left to bottom right. Otherwise you can end up cutting the wrong angle. So turn it round, top left to bottom right. And after you've done three, it's easy peasy because it's just top left to bottom right <laughs> and you only have to do four so it's not like you have to keep going on forever top left to bottom right there you go so so now all we're going to do is we're going to cut those lines now i'm showing you the easy way to start with okay so we're going to cut on these lines we're not going to cut any more than just this at the minute so we're going to cut up to there and then we're going to turn it round and we're going to cut that one again. Cut on that line. Now if you're a confident cutter you don't need to draw a line, you can just go corner to corner. Um, but just so that it, I get the evenness of it I always draw a line first. And then we're going to go turn it round and this is the last one. to corner okay so now we've got this shape the next thing you need to do is you need to work from one side or whatever and where you have a so this is your middle and this is your first petal it's actually like a pinwheel shape so this is your first petal the bit that's joined to the center is the bit that's going to stay attached what we're going to do is we're going to cut off this line down here. So we're going to cut this bit off. Okay. So if you're, once you've decided what, which ones you've got to do, you know, depending on, you know, if you followed my directions, then you, it's going to, we're going to start with the bottom right hand fold line. We're going to cut that off. Okay. So we're going to pick that up and we're going to cut that fold off. So remember, if you're cutting a fold off, a fold has to be cut off so that the fold comes away. So this line, this furrowed line, don't cut this side of that furrowed line because otherwise the fold stays on. You want to cut the fold off. So all the way down there till it meets that middle bit. Yeah, and then you can just pull that away. So there's a tiny bit of the tail, just snip it away. Okay, so you've done that. Now you're going to turn it around again. You're going to turn it anti-clockwise, and we're going to cut that same bottom right fold off. Okay, and then you're going to turn it around again, and you're going to cut the bottom right fold off. Having the uniformity just means that you're cutting the same the same bit every time. Okay, and then turning it around again and putting the bottom right fold off. There we go. So that is your shape. Now you're thinking, that's an awful lot of wasted paper. Well, it isn't because when I was doing my, um, my sample making, um, I made it out of just a piece of 12 by 12 paper. So it just makes exactly the same thing. Um, it's just it's not in a utilitarian style, so I just so it does exactly the same thing. 
like that. Okay, and what I did was I turned all of those into little corner pockets. So you can make them into things. There's a corner pocket there, and then I made this into a double-sided one with a bit in the middle. So they can turn into things. So don't see them as waste, see them as opportunities. So we'll come back and we'll make something with those. So this, back to this one. Okay, now is the time to start decorating because really there is not, nothing else to do. This is literally gonna make what you need, okay? So what you need to do is you have one that goes over the other, okay? So you just have to bear in mind that the corner has to be inside. So you put the corner down, put the corner down, put the corner down, and then this corner is gonna go inside. So I'll just turn it around so I can do that. Bit of jiggery pokery to get it in the first time round. There you go, and there you go, that's it. So it sits nicely closed, and then you can just open it up. And the more you've opened and closed it, the easier it becomes. Okay, so let's just decorate this now. So we're gonna make it inky. We always do, Dave. There's no nothing new there. I'm gonna go over it with this. And if you're finding that it doesn't quite tuck in together and it doesn't quite sit in, so like, let's just show you this one. This one sits with a bit of a dome. Then what you might need to do is you might just need to cut your corner off and literally just cut the corner off. And then it, it means then when it comes into contact, it doesn't come into contact with this crease here and it will sit more flat, okay? so. But equally, make a feature of it. You can make it, turn it into like a, a box that you know you can store extra things in or whatever. So, just going to make this look a bit, a little bit more interesting. This paper. There we go, and then we'll put some kind of a punch in it. So we've got this. Um, Jordan stamp, Jordan seal, and we're going to put this in it like I did on the other one. Stamp that in. There we go. It's just an embossing stamp, and we'll make a feature of that. So if we just go over the top of that, should be able to highlight that a bit. There we go. Might go in with a bit of a different colour. I seem to have on oh, there. over the top of there and it will highlight it better. I'm just going to do a bit of that over all of it just to give it a bit of a, a grungy look. So like I say you don't need anything to keep it closed. I put the string on for effect it's not really it's not doing a job or anything so and we're going to ink these edges all the bits that you might have got handled you know you can fluff your the corners and that sort of thing because over time they would have definitely got battered couldn't they so and that's easier to do once you put a bit of ink on it's easier to buckle the corners because they get a bit little bit damp and that way then you're more likely to be able to buckle it and it will start to peel apart the it'll delaminate see how it's gone can you see how it's gone floofy there can you see that? So that's just because it's got a bit wet and it started to the glue has started to break down on it. So I'm using that to my advantage. So again on this one. Just going over the whole thing and making it as inky or you know decorative or you mean like you can make you can go down the flowery route just because I go for a utilitarian look doesn't mean to say that you have to you can go you can do whatever this this shape will lend itself to anything so but I won't lend you anything <laughs> never see it back again um so right what we're going to do is maybe let's have what these fitting in here now remember that these are exactly the same as this square so it won't you see how when you fold one over you won't be able to fold this other side over so in that case then we'd need to cut this down in order to get it to fit 
thought that's fine we could do that so we could do that freehand so we can use a pair of scissors and cut it down and just cut it until it feels like it will fit in there so as long as it sits within that see if there's a there's a base square there as long as it fits within there it it will fit and we'll turn these into things that are going to go inside so let's have that like that let's cut these two together and then these are going to be the same size stick these back to back hopefully that's going to be the right size as well is it so let's get one of them and see one of them fits one of them fits yep that's fine so we're going to stick those two back to back and then we'll cut this and we'll make this into another pocket very similar Line though. Try again. Okay. Get rid of those bits now. Okay, so is this the one that was going to cut and make it back to back? It is. Okay, so what we're going to do is then we'll ink these down as well so that these look, they go nicely with the rest of our thing. You're not going to see much of the inside, but I'll still do a bit of it. Okay, do the edges. There we go. I'll do the same on this one. It's got a bit of a crease on it, but that's made a feature of that crease. That's fine. Like I say, you're not going to see that, so point going over the top on that bit so we're going to stick this down uh, shall we let's distress it a little first before we do that we could we can go to town on this now so let's look, otherwise it's going to be a very short video if I just end it here isn't it let's distress that edge and maybe do that edge too not exactly very straight cutting so let's make a, a feature of it <laughs> um, and we'll get some ink pad now the my vintage photo in that little stack is running out so I'm just gonna switch to a bigger a bigger pad and I'm not using a um, a brush to transfer it with I'm just simply going in with the full the full-on thing the full-on grunge this one's army style. This has been out on, what do they call it? Camp, base, maneuvers, whatever. It's been, it's been there, it's been doing stuff. It's, it's seen stuff, that's what it's been doing. It's seen stuff, stuff. Don't know what that stuff is. Oh, there's, not, there's bigger pieces there. I think Let's just turn this bit off. So we're going to stick that in there. In fact, we're going to probably put it. Should we put it that way up? So you can see that stain on the side. Yep, let's do that. Just going to stick it all down so it sticks nicely. Sticks flat mainly. beat the the adhesion there we go and then we're going to stick this edge down and this one oh no Dave not there silly boy <laughs> forgot it was a just a corner Dave never mind so 
So we do that one, and then shall we have, let's have maybe that on there. So we're gonna stick it onto this bit on this this one. So yeah, let's do that. So we're just gonna I'm just gonna glue it so it overhangs this back edge so it doesn't peel up. And then just glue all over this. Making sure it catches all the edges. So we're gonna go from there. Over the doesn't matter if it's not straight, pop that over, and then we're going to cut the rest of it off. Cut that bit off. Yep, uh, and cut this bit off. There we go. And that way, then this bit will just. This will be inside the two bits that join together, so you're not going to see it anyway. So we're going to join them back to back like that. Okay. Um, but before we do that, we want to have a thumb thing. A thumb thing. I know what I'm talking about, if, even if none of you know what I'm talking about. Um, might be a bit big, but I can't find the other one. Oh, it's over there, that's why. Let's go for a, a hole somewhere in the middle. Let's go from there. And let's ink that up because we want to make it look. This is when we all need a, a dorber. A Ness and Dormer. Oh, Dormer, not Dorber. Not a Ness and Dormer. But a dauber. Shush, Dave. Just shush with the silliness now. Shush, Dave. Oh. Put a bit of this down there. Maybe a bit on there. On that edge. And this edge. Fine. What should we put on the back? Should we make this look a bit grungier over the back? I've just realised I've, I've made a real good job of that bit, but that's going to be inside and nobody's going to see it. So okay. <laughs> we'll make a good job of this one as well. So. That's fine. So let's stick this one down. Stick that bit down. And then stick those together. So if we just do the two, three sides, and then that'll stick together as a pocket. You can option to do a straight line if you wish, but you know, it's, <laughs> why bother? It's so on trend to have a wonky line. So, what's on trend in this house, anyway? Wonky lines, that's what I do best. Wonky lines incorporated. So, they, there you go. We've got a little pocket here, and we've got a little pocket here, and we've got a, a bigger pocket down the middle if you leave it to dry long enough, Dave. So, that's a pocket. There'll be a pocket down the middle there. Okay, and that's going to sit in there. Yeah. And then we've got some other things that we're going to make. So... Again, let's just go over with gently over with the, this one's much more inky, so I'm going to gently go over with this one so it doesn't get too covered. Don't know what I'm doing with it yet, so I'm going to just ink over the whole thing. Do I want to put this one together in some way? Mm. Maybe have it have it like that, couldn't I? That's ex 
exactly the same, Dave. No, it's, it is. It's, <laughs> it's exactly the same. You can't do it like that then, Dave. You can't have exactly the same. You could have it with a, a side pocket, couldn't we? Yeah, let's do that then. So those two are going to go back to back, so we don't have to worry about the back of it. We just need to worry about the front. So that's the front. I'm not going to see that because that's going to be inside, but you're going to see the top part of this. Um, and we'll have let's go for a torn edge on there and stick that in there yeah let's do that should really have done use my stick glue for this now but like you know I'm so excited that my art glitter glue is flowing again um, <laughs> but uh I'm using it, so so I can. So mm. okay, that's going to go in there. Cool. That's going to go down. Glue that. Let's do that edge first, Dave. I'm sure that's so nice. Edge. Yeah, might do a bit more on there. Glue the bottom of here. That's that one. And we'll do the similar sort of thing to this one. We might have this on a couple of sides. Put that on there. Let's ink this one before we put it on this time. You know it's gonna. You know what we're gonna have to put on this one, don't you? You do know what we're gonna have to put on this. One. I'm sure you've already guessed. I'm gonna have to have a bit of, bit of a rip, bit of a rip, and that way then we're gonna use some of our faux cellar tape, aren't we? Aren't we? Well, we are. So I'm telling you more than asking. Gonna do that, and then we're gonna put a bit of our faux cellar tape on. We'll use we use this one with a bit of texture in it, which we use that piece that we've already got. Use that piece that we've already got. Except for we'll have to stick it down with something. We've come, lost all complete stickiness. I'm gonna pop that down and do oh, I've got a really itchy nose now. Oh, I still can't get this out. Bit of ink, a bit of glue. I'll stick that on there, and then we're going to stick another bit, maybe a bit lighter this time, and a bit different. There we go. Yeah, we're going to stick that on there. Yep. So again, just put a bit more of this on the back. Doesn't always stick. You know when I when you make the cellar tape that I showed you how to, well the sticky tape, the age sticky tape. It does tend to lose its stick on the back, so you know a bit of anything that dries clear. The um, the acetate style glue, the three in one, works really well because it's used to sticking plastic, um, and so you know it doesn't need a porous surface for it to adhere. You know it it dries quicker. That's what I mean. It dries quicker on a non-porous surface. So that's what I'm trying to get at. So I pop that on there and I stick that on there. Put the art glitter glue on the back of it. And all the way over it. Stick that on there. Just rub that down a bit so I don't rub my mucky fingers all over it. There we go. Stick this down. I want that edge to be a bit more mucky, probably. It is me after all. So I'm gonna stick this bottom edge down. Stick that bit down, and then we're gonna stick those back to back this time that way around, and we're going to make a 
I might put the hole in this side, I think. Yeah, so let's stick them together first. So I'm going to have it so that it's going to go three sides this way and the opening is going to be that way. So remember, we've used, made this using one 12 by 12 sheet of paper. I mean, like I cut mine down to being 12 by 12, but you could absolutely use a 12 by 12. And if you're going to make things like this, you know, there's nothing to stop you using up the um, 12 by 12 paper that you don't like anymore, so, or that you bought and thought, why oh, did I buy that? Or you were given and thought, thanks. This how bad do you think my taste is? <laughs> and then we're gonna make a, now I realize it's gonna chomp some of this pocket out, but that's not a problem. We're not worried about that. We'll do a little bit of a thing there. And then the ink that. that bit there. Well, okay, fab. So let's put the lid back on there. So we've made these two little things that are now little pockets. Let's put a lid on that as well. So we've got, we've got a pocket here. Yep, we've got a pocket here. Okay, we've got a pocket in the top here. There you go. And then on this one, we've got a pocket here. We've got a pocket here. Okay, and we've got a pocket in the side here. There we go. They can go in there. And then this can all fold up nicely. Play nicely now, folks. Oh, hang on. I want to have that one on the on the top. That's the reason why I'm doing it this way around. So I'm making it look more complicated than it is. Now bear in mind you're going to have a bit more dimension to it now because you've got three dimensional things in there. My paper's still a bit wet from all of the ink. There we go. And all right, there you go, it all sits together nicely. Give it a bit of a shape because we've got that those extra things in. There you go. So you can put dimensional stuff in there and it all sits together nicely. And there's that one, and there's that one very similar sort of thing you know you can decorate it however you like but you remember i'm going for that kind of utilitarian thing so um i'm going for a bit kind of a kind of a rudimentary feel let's see if i can put a label on this and see i always think oh i've finished and then i think oh, let's, let's do this dave let's do this Give it a random letter stamping, I think, and then maybe a number. We'll use those two, whatever they are. GM, genetically modified. GMR, we'll use those together. And then we'll use a number. We won't necessarily use it all. But we'll use that number and we won't use it all. Just stamp a bit of it. Which way up is it, Dave? Up. We're going to use E20. Like that. We're going to use that. And we'll do it in however this is. GMR. There we go. Which one have I just made? This one. I'm going to have that on there, I think. Yeah, we'll pop that on there. Brill! Fab! Brill! Marvelous! Ta -da. There we go. So we've made a another thing. So it's a, a thing of whatever whatever I've called it on the title. That's what it's called. 
Um, <laughs> because it's uh, it doesn't have a name at the moment. So, um, but yeah, that's what we've made. So I hope you like it. I hope it's something you'll give a go. Like I say great because it stays closed you don't need any kind of closure on it whatsoever and it doesn't matter how much you fill it up it still stays closed um so go and make one so this is the one i've used i only put the string around it because it looked good uh, it doesn't you don't need to have the string on it at all i don't know what what's going on with the string this string by the way is just normal string so i know somebody asked me before when i used it previously how i where I got the dirty coloured string from. It's literally dirty. Um, I, I, stain, I stained it, just like when you do coffee dyeing, I just left it in some coffee overnight. So um, I did one lot in coffee and one lot in tea. So I've got different shades. So it's just normal string, because it's strings that tends to be made of cotton or cotton fibres, it takes colour nicely. So there we go. So just another little thing to give a go of so i hope you enjoyed this my name is dash of dave and i love you all without exception until you give me a reason not to and i hopefully see you all in the next video you all take care folks speak to you soon lots of love mwah, mwah, mwah. lots of crafty hugs Urgh. and remember i believe you can do it so go and do it take care bye